agree that the Earth's climate is warming due to increased amounts of greenhouse gases. In the future, climate change may increase natural disasters like drought and fire, increase risks to some plants and animals, and increase insect-borne diseases like West Nile. Greenhouse gases are essential to life on our planet as greenhouse gases warm the atmosphere by trapping heat that otherwise would escape to space. However, too much greenhouse gas in the atmosphere leads to global warming. The most important greenhouse gas is carbon dioxide. The amount of carbon dioxide in the Earth's atmosphere has increased over the past 100 years. The carbon cycle acts to maintain a relative stable amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Plants use carbon dioxide in photosynthesis and their tissues are an important store of carbon. Animals acquire carbon when they eat plants and other animals in the form of carbohydrates and release carbon dioxide back to the atmosphere as a byproduct of cellular respiration. Hydrocarbons were formed by organisms that were buried under sediment millions of years ago. Over time, the pressure from sediments transformed these organisms into hydrocarbons. Today, hydrocarbons are extracted from the earth to use as fuels like petroleum and natural gas. Burning of hydrocarbons releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. The burning of fuel is the greatest man-made source of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. Fuel is burned for transportation, heat, and electricity. The second greatest source of carbon dioxide emissions after burning of fuel is disturbance to vegetation. Plants, such as trees, store large amounts of biotic carbon. The amount of biotic carbon storage depends on the area of forest, native grasslands, and wetlands, and can be reduced by human activities such as forest harvest, plowing of native grassland, and natural disturbances such as fire. Most of the lost carbon is eventually released to the atmosphere, which can increase climate change. Lower greenhouse gas emissions will help mitigate climate change in Alberta. Storing more carbon in Alberta's forests will also help mitigate climate change. Use Alberta tomorrow to see how land use has changed the amount of greenhouse gas emissions and biotic carbon storage in your area in the past, and what effect a change in land use may have on greenhouse gas emissions in the future.